What is up, YouTube? Hyper D Kaiser here. Um, here with my deck profile. Um, unfortunately, the first time I uploaded it, you guys probably really couldn't hear me, so I'm um, just re-uploading it so you guys can actually hear what I'm saying this time. So let's try this again, shall we? So <clears throat> uh, this is my Destiny Hero Zombie or Destiny Destiny Zombie deck right now. Uh, it's the deck that I'm pr I'm going to be running probably for the most of the format coming up. Uh, I'm actually really enjoying how the deck works. Um, um, let's see, well, I guess we'll just start off with everything. So first we have one Dark Arm Dragon, one Gores, three Militia Destiny Hero Malicious, two Zombie Master, one Dark Greffer, two Mizuki, <clears throat> two Diamond Dude, two Goblin Zombie, two Tour Guide, one Spear Reaper, two Max C, two Plague Spreader, uh, that's it for the monsters. That's 21, I believe. <clears throat> for the spells, we have one Allure, one Book of Life, one Rhoda, one Mind Control, three D Draw, one Dark Hole, uh, one Foolish Burial, one Mystical Space Typhoon, one Book of Moon, and one Bear from the Different Dimension. For traps, we have one Bottomless, two Mirror Forest, one Torrential, two Deprison, one Compulse, one Warning. That wraps up for the main deck. As you can see up here, it's 41. Um, <clears throat> it's really weird because I keep changing a few things here. Mainly the maxis. Like sometimes I'll put in Baylor, sometimes I'll put in maxis. I'm not sure which one works better. Uh, really depends, I guess, on the matchup as usual. I'm considering going like two maxi one Baylor or two Baylor one maxi. Either one, you know. I'm really thinking of putting up the 42 cards. Um, I'm also considering changing the number of Goblin Zombies up to three, just to. I'm not really sure, like, it's really, like, the plays with the deck are really solid, and I really like how the deck flows. The trap lineup, obviously, it's just pretty much staple traps from here. Nothing really weird about this. Uh, the spell lineup, Allure, obviously, for draw power as well as the draws. Mind control, because this deck uses synchros and exceeds, so... Uh, you have rank threes and fours, which you have over here in the extra deck, which we'll go over in a second. But mind control gives, a, gives you, opens up those plays where you just moves things out of the way, so you can pretty much kill your opponent right away. Uh, the Book of Life is actually really, really nice in this deck. I didn't realize how good it was against other decks until, um, you know, I realized how much, how grave reliant other decks are. As mine is, like, really, really grave reliant, but others, you know, they require, like, Mermails. Um, Mermails are, some, you know, something else like, uh, like plant variants that you see nowadays. I think it gets part of problems as well as bring special summons a monster, so it's pretty it's pretty much a monster reborn for this deck, obviously. But it adds that DD Crow thing, which is really really good. I'm considering going to two, but probably just keeping it one. Uh, Dark Hole, obviously, Foolish Burial, obviously. Uh, the one MST is really personal preference, just because I don't like running decks without any MSTs whatsoever. But I feel like the deck can this deck can get through other people's back row without much problem. Even even a set four, okay. I'm like, okay, I'll just do this, this, and this. You'll waste certain things on other things, and the next turn I'll just kill you anyway. So it's it's fine. Um, burial is puts in so much work. <sighs> Ugh, you, Jesus, excuse me. Sorry about that. <clears throat> a little tired. It's like six in the morning right now. So uh, let's go to the extra deck real quick, so I can use you know utilize that. So one crimson blader. One Scrap Dragon, one Colossal Fighter, one Thought Ruler, and one Snowdice for the level 8s. Um, nothing really strange here. The Thought Ruler is amazing just because so many things target right now. and Just gaining back the life points helps as well. Colossal, just a recurve, just in case you need to push for high numbers. Crimson is really important right now as well as Scrap Dragon. Stardust is not as good as it used to be, but he, if you first turn, pretty much if you go Stardust, another level 8, and back row. What, your opponent is going to be trying to get rid of everything, but at the same time, Stardust protects it for MST or anything like that. So it's just like, it's needed. Um, one Black Rose for the level 7. You never know when you might need to blow up the board, and you can do it decently easily in this deck. <laughs> Jesus Christ, excuse me. <clears throat> Alright, uh, level 6 is we have our revived King Hades and our HT yeah, HTS Psyhemoth, which is... Really good, a uh, really good level six synchro. It's a it's a DD warrior lady, but for obviously bigger body, but 
uh, definitely, it's a definitely a really good card. I really actually like it. It's grown a lot on me. Uh, the Revive King obviously kills things in battle, and it just nothing happens because he just negates their effects, and he's just really good. Give me your curve with Mizuki up here, as you can tell, because it's a zombie, so he just more plays and stuff like that. And then one level five, I've been going back and forth between our mates and Catastor. So far, I'm liking our mates a little bit better, but Catastor is still really good. So it's really up to you if you if you decide to use a deck. It's really up to you. Uh, the six Xyz monsters will be a level level chain, and I guess Emerald. Both of those are very very important to this deck. Like chain just sets up so many plays for this deck, and Emerald just combos so well with Barrel from the Different Dimension. Like it's ridiculous. Uh, the other rank four I have is Gaga Cowboy. He's like I kind of want to kind of want to replace him with a Maestro. Jesus, oh, sorry about that, man. I I need to drink something like caffeine or something. But <clears throat> uh, the Cowboy, it's just a really finisher. Like I kind of want to replace him with a Maestro, like I'm saying, just for more protection. But so far, with Cowboy's been testing okay, so. Uh, level 3s, or rank 3, excuse me, we have Leviathan, we have Levier, and Zen Mains. Um, originally, we had a temp Tempo in here, and it just really, really was not working out. I didn't like it at all. Um, but Leviathan and Zen Mains are just, are just go good rank 3 excuses that are just good to go into, just in case. But Levier is also a very key card in this, so keep that in mind. Now, the big plays that I like to do are with Digusto Emerald and Burial here. Uh, pretty much what happens is you can go, let's say you remove two of your maliciouses and a plague spread is removed, or Mizuki or something like that. You have one uh, malicious in grave, so you go burial, put them back, put back two of the malicious and whatever other else you want to remove. Then use Emerald, put two of the malicious back and whatever else you want back, draw a card, and you now have two more malicious that you can go through once again. So it's really, really stupid. Like the plays you can do with this deck are really retarded. Uh, the side deck is kind of just... I, I spruced that up since last time. We have Double Decree, we have Eradicator, just in case, because the deck does run, obviously. We have the Colossal Fighter, we have the Thought Ruler, we have... Uh, I think that's it, really? We have Gores and Dad, of course. Uh, but, you know, it's it's just it's one of those just-in-case type things. I run into spell books, and I just want to... It's a one-off, you never know. You might draw it. We have Malevolent Catastrophe. Now, this card is... Just, I find, like, because of the way the format is, people are going to want to try to play the whole set five summon one monster pass thing. And sure, they'll probably try and run the Starlight Road or something like that. And they'll probably have, like, a Dark Bribe. But, but Malevolent Catastrophe, I find, is one of the most hilarious cards I've ever seen in my life. Just because you, your opponent will not see this coming. And it's just like, they set a whole other stuff. They attack into you. And you just flip this, and they just cry. Because their entire background is just now gone. And it's, it's I, I love this card. Like, it's the funniest shit I've ever seen I've ever seen in my life. I've seen it happen a few times. So, it's, it's just hilarious. <clears throat> uh, moving on, we have three zombie worlds. Uh, this is actually really... Because Monarchs are probably going to be tier 2, tier 1.5. That's what I'm seeing for Monarchs. Um, just be, And it just stops so many other... Like, it stops spell books. They can't do anything. Dragon Rulers, they become zombies, so they can't really banish them. They can banish the elements, yeah, but they can't banish those dragons and stuff like that. So, it, it's, it's helpful for the deck. We also have Double Prohibition here. Um... Prohibition is just a really all-around good card right now. Not even just right now, just it's always a good card, just regardless. Just to stop silly, just to stop key plays from your opponent, stuff like that. So there's not really much else to say. It's a really good card. Um, mystical, two more mystical space typhoons. Uh, this is in case I really feel like I do need to get through the back row like right away, and I need to stop things from happening. So it's a just one in case. Um, then we have the one of Soul Taker. Um, excuse me. Let's see. I'm probably going to take this out for a Jinzo. Just because the one thing, there's just one deck that I absolutely hate, and it's Chainburn. And you guys know how I am with Chainburn. I absolutely hate that deck. Like, it, I feel like it's just stupid and really annoying. So, Jinzo just takes care of that, you know, and then I can just go Zombie World and they can't tribute. That's actually really funny. They can go. I can go 
summon Jinjo, play Zombie World, they can't tribute my Jinzo for like Volcanic Queen or something like that. So it's actually not a bad idea. Then we have the one Veiler and two DD Crows. Um, like I said, the Veiler I might actually put in the main deck and put something else in here. But the tr DD Crow is looking really, really good in this format because there's so many rave recursion effects that can happen. It's also dark, so it helps with the dad plays and stuff like that. So, oh uh, yeah, but basically that's my deck. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and hopefully you can hear me this time. <laughs> so thanks for, I guess, watching. Please rate and subscribe and all that good stuff. Like the video if you enjoyed the profile, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.